Hi, I'm Kayla, your host for History 8 here. Join me on this culinary adventure as we experience history and enjoy the food here in Lynchburg, Tennessee at Miss Mary Bobo's. Welcome to our first episode. I am excited to share this with you. I was driving in the back roads of Tennessee, came off the highway, was driving into Lynchburg behind this white truck that you see here, which I'm pretty sure at some point thought I was stalking him. As you come into the Lynchburg area, you're greeted by these wondrous huge trees and this gorgeous little town center that hosts buildings from the mid 1800s. But we're here today to check out Miss Mary Bobo's boarding house listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1818, one of the founding fathers of Lynchburg, Thomas Roundtree, built his home on the property. In 1857, he sold his home to a Civil War doctor, E.Y. Salmon, and his wife. The couple added the large two-story frame home to the original brick structure, which we now see as part of the elegance of the location. Dr. Salmon operated the home as the Grand Central Hotel and as his doctor's office. The Salmon House, as it was sometimes called, became known as one of the best boarding houses in the region because of its delicious food and the warmth of the home. Jack Bobo died in 1948 and Mary continued to run the boarding house for another 35 years. The boarding house eventually became exclusive to the Jack Daniels Distillery and Miss Mary and her staff would feed 50 to 100 people a day, five days a week. Up until age 98, Mary conducted nearly all portions of the business, including ordering the groceries, planning the menus and writing the checks. During Miss Mary's final years, she continued with her private table, and almost every day, her daughter and son ate with her. Mary died just short of her 102nd birthday in 1983, and the Jack Daniels Distillery purchased the establishment from her heirs. It reopened in May of 1984 with Jack Daniels' great-grandniece, Lynn Tolley, at the helm. All right, are you ready to dig in? Because I'm ready to get after it. I selected the boarding house meatloaf, macaroni and cheese, and the whiskey candied apples. I was even warned to be careful because the alcohol is still sitting in there, delicious and fresh. You guys wouldn't believe how much comes on this plate. The video does it absolutely no justice at all. Quick note, the Jack Daniels company did ask me not to film visitors or the staff, so I had to do this in a very interesting way, but I really wanted to visit the site, so here we go. All right, I don't know where you come from, but if I have macaroni and cheese on my plate, I don't care what order it's in, it's the first thing I'm gonna dig into. Look at that cheesy, gooey goodness. Noodles were perfect. You have that wonderful golden top that you want when it comes out of the oven. As I'm digging in, you can see all that wondrousness just kind of sitting there in a delectable mess. You notice that I'm also going back for seconds thirds really trying to get in there get after a good piece but not look like a pig while I'm trying to film myself here but I'm telling you this was one of the sides that you have to get see there I am again trying to get more trying to get more it was really that good in fact I wanted to eat the rest of it but I really couldn't because if I had taken down that whole plate I would have walked out five pounds heavier now we're gonna move to the meatloaf look at this okay so here it's kind of destroyed already but who doesn't destroy meatloaf? I'm taking the first bite here, but as I come down in through that wondrous tomato sauce that's on top, no y'all, it's not ketchup like we do at home, but it's a really amazing tomato sauce that's on top, really rich, adds to the boarding house meatloaf. I don't know what they mean by boarding house meatloaf. I'm really hoping it's beef, but that's cool. I don't know, it tasted great either way. That bite was amazing as it came through. Yes, of course. We're going to go back to the macaroni and cheese. Who doesn't add a little bit more cheese if it's sitting on your plate somewhere? Now, the one you're probably wondering about, these whiskey candied apples. Look at this apple. These things make you think of an apple pie on steroids. But what I love is look at that juice that's coming up. And it's really covering every one of these apples. This stuff was so hot coming off, you could smell the sugar coming up from it. 
You could smell the whiskey off of the top of it. And the only thing that you wanted to do was just take it all down in one huge bite. I'm going to actually go over this recipe next week inside of a separate episode that I thought I would share with you. But here I am trying to dig into these apples. I was amazed. You hear apples on a menu and you're not quite sure what you're going to get. This blew my mind the minute that I got it. Now, yes, we have dessert. We absolutely have dessert. There was buttermilk pie. Look at my fork going down. The one thing I want you guys to notice here is that topping. I have never had this in my life. So the buttermilk pie sitting in there, rich, soft, but also with a good consistency that you can get a nice bite. But that topping, I swear to God, was a candy topping because I could crunch down through it. And the only thing I wanted to do was eat that entire topping off first before I came in to get the rest of that buttermilk pie. When you go here, you absolutely have to get this pie. No trip is complete without going to the gift shop. So here you can get all kinds of cute little knickknacks, things for your home, gifts for people that were jealous that you didn't take them with you. You can find it all here. A lot of really cute things. So don't forget to drop in and support. Heading out of town, I had a great time at the restaurant. The town itself was beautiful. But of course, right around the corner. You can't possibly come into Lynchburg and not go back to home. I'll admit it, I'm a big Jack Daniels fan. I love coming here whenever I get the chance. So make sure you drop by. Guest area has a lot of things to do. You can get some shopping in done. And then of course, check out the tours. So Lynchburg, thank you so much for the amazing food on my plate. That buttermilk pie that I think changed my life when I came there that day. And of course, thank you to the White Rabbit Bottle Shop. Great times. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know it's going to be amazing. Go ahead and drop a line to me in the chat if you have a restaurant that I need to get to or if you own one of these beauties. Also, join me next week where I'm going to upload a video where we're going to recreate these apples. You know you want to try them. You won't even believe the smell of the apples, the joy of the sugar that comes off of these, and yes, the whiskey. So make sure that you have the whiskey on hand that you want to use and don't feed it to your kids. Well, I mean, unless you really want to, they're probably gonna take a good nap, but join me back here where we're gonna talk about these apples a little bit more in depth next week. Of course, I can't leave my episode without saying, make sure you subscribe to us. We have more content coming. And then of course, follow us on social media, find our Facebook, get to our Instagram, check out our TikTok, more stuff available for you there. Also, I need to give some shout outs to VWISE under the IVMF program and to the STRIVE program. If you're a veteran, you need to check these things out. Nom, 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 nom.